So what kind of person is this training for? First of all, the training is for people who say, I want to explore more and I want to find happiness with my body and I want to find out how I can create that within myself. So it can be that somebody, maybe a man, who's very shy and who doesn't dare to ask a girl for a date, who is very, you know, insecure, he can come and he can learn how to communicate and how to approach another a woman, how to have a nice date and how to fulfill himself. So that is one way. It can be also that maybe somebody says, I never experienced an orgasm, but I read about it and I would like to explore it, but I don't know how, I don't know where. And they need to have a safe field where they can explore and they can get guidance on how to do it together with friends. It can be that somebody is like in a long-term relationship and sex gets a bit uh, the same all the time and they feel like they want to explore more. It can also be that somebody read Osho and says, he says from sex to super consciousness, but it means we have to start with sex and find out what is in sexuality that actually guides towards meditation. So it is a very wide field and it makes it interesting if we have many different people together to explore and to find out about ourselves and our potential. So Chandrika, if I want to improve my sex life with my partner, does this training fit? I would say what's important is that if you feel you need to uh, learn something for, so that you can improve your relationship, your sexual relationship with your partner, the best is that you come alone and you do take the time and you do that training. What it means is that you want to look and you want to take the space that you want to learn about yourself. And for that, you need to go somewhere where you have space, you can explore, you can practice, you can find out, you have a guidance, you have other like-minded people who are ready to give you feedback and to support you and for that it's important that you can go out and do that for yourself because finally it comes back to yourself. Are you able to have fun? Are you able to explore? And how can you widen that horizon? And that's what the sexuality training is for. Then later on you get tips and tricks and you get wider, you get more receptive, you get more open and then that you bring back into your relationship so that both of you can profit from it. Yeah. Um, so, Sandrika, what motivated you to create the new sexuality training? What's, what's the purpose of it? Sexuality is your birthright and it is in your body. It makes people happy, it makes people come together, and it's one of the reasons. <laughs> so, Shanika, what motivated you to create the new sexuality training? What is, what's the purpose of it? I asked my husband, Damaraj. <laughs> <laughs> he said what? 